Hello class, Mom says here, signing on. This video lecture teaches you how to generate report from the database using JasperSoft iReport Designer in NetBeans. It also shows how to download and install iReport and add Jasper jar files in the libraries. Let's begin. What you can see on your screen now is the project. You are now seeing the environment of NetBeans IDE 8.2. So this was the project we created last time in the previous video lectures wherein we connect the login form into the uh, database. So here you can see the install plugins. Let's take a look at it. Let's check if there are possible plugins that can be used to generate report from our database. So you can see here the available plugins. You can click on this to check for newest. But it requires you to be online. So you can check here what are the available plugins in your NetBeans. And we're trying to have the iReport in the Jasper. You can also see here the what are the downloaded plugins and what are installed and the settings and the updates if there, there is any you can check for updates also it's better that your IDE is always updated since, since it is free why not update Okay, so now we're going to download plugins for our NetBeans so that we could generate a report from our database. A report is a in computer programming or in IT world when we say report is just simply it's an information when you say information process data so it's an information that is in a more meaningful view to our end user or problem solver a report is actually the heart of the information system this is the reason why we are trying to create um computerized system and information system so that we could generate the report that the problem solver or the managers or any end user in the company can use it to solve certain or particular problem in a firm something like that so that is how important the report is in an information system okay now let's uh, go to the site where we could find the plugins so this is just uh, one possible site which you can you could install plugins so you can have any site you like as long as you think it's uh, safe so i choose netbeans.org when you click on the plugins here, you will be prompted here. And then you may now click on the I report. And then wait for the site to download the 
software. What you see now is the iReport plugin detail. So iReport designer for just for reports. So you may now choose the versions available that is compatible with your device. Make sure that you have read the instructions for before downloading or installing and then you can also the see below the details of the older version and the updates okay so you choose make sure that you also know the specifications of your device and match it with the versions available here to avoid compatibility issues so I go for NetBeans 7.4 since I have uh, Windows 7, Core i7, 18, almost high-end. So the NetBeans 7.4 iPort plugin will work with the NetBeans 8.2 that I have. Now click on NetBean 7.4. Again, you should be make sure that the version you are downloading really match to the device and the NetBeans version that you are also using. So check everything first before you waste time. You can see elsewhere that the download is progressing. So, got to wait for it. The progress bar de depends on the browser that you are using. So, I use Opera. It's quiet, faster compared to the other browser. And then you are now seeing the progress of the downloads. Now, once the download is uh, completed, you can now right click on it to extract the file. And then uh, choose extract all. Choose the location where you want to extract it. Let's choose a place, a location where we could find it as fast as we could. After selecting the place where you want to, uh, rather the destination where you want to extract the files, now you can click the extract button and then wait for the extraction to be uh, completed. Once the extractions is completed, you may want to uh, open it and take a look at the files that you extracted. Now, after this, similar, similarly, we still be needing the Jasper Reports Library. You can download it here. It's up to you where you want to download the Jasper Reports library. You can also download it here in the Jasper Soft community.
and mine I'm gonna choose the source forge since it, it already have 39 reviews and the last update was November 16th and below are the suggested site where you can also download the Jasper reports library click on the download and then wait till the progress becomes 100% so now that the download is complete we can now extract the folder so choose the location where you want to extract it But if you are satisfied with the suggested location, you may just simply click the extract button and then wait for the files to be extracted. Now that the, uh, the extraction is complete, we can uh, check and look at the file inside. Let's double click there. So these are the files. These are now the jar files of the Jasper Reports library. So we have the jar files for annotation, charts, visualizations, fonts, functions, Java flow, metadata, and other important tools we need to create our report. All this and the files that we downloaded here, the I report. Files from iReport plugin and the files from Jasper Reports, which we downloaded from this uh, suggested website. So these are the tools that we need to generate a report from our database. Let's now attach the files that we downloaded into the AppBeans plugins. Another way of looking at the plugins for your NetBeans, you can click on the tools and then choose plugins. Then let's take a look at the downloaded file. Let's add plugins. Now you need to select all the plugin by pressing Ctrl A on your keyboard and then click open to add the plugins. Now when you click on the specific file you can see the description here. install each plugins of course you need to accept the terms in order to install it once the installation is complete you will be asked to restart the NetBeans IDE for the NetBeans updater to install the updates on your NetBeans.
once the update is complete, let me now check the installation. Click on the window and then choose Welcome to JasperSoft. I report designer. There is now our newly installed plugins. The I report designer. Now we can now create the reports.